So after many hours, a long weekend, 108 clips on desktop, probably about 20 clips on Pixlr, we are finally done this video. Hello guys, welcome back. It is Jay Jossness, and today we have another one of these project videos. In this video, I'm going to go over the movie, The Blue Kite. It is historical fiction, and it covers the Hundred Flowers campaign, the Great Leap Forward, and the Culture Revolution. This makes up the century of humiliation known in Chinese history today. I'm going to go over this question in the video. Describe the Hundred Flowers campaign, this part, and how does it impact the lives of the Chinese in the film, The Blue Kite. But first, to answer this question, we need to know what the Hundred Flowers campaign was. So let's go to Britannica. So Britannica basically says this. Chinese leader Mao Zedong invited criticism to the Chinese Communist Party. With this quote in mind, La Hundred Flowers bloom and a hundred schools of thought contend. Then the party began to signal that criticism has gone too far, but in reality it didn't really. Many people were just making suggestions, but by early though July, the people who did make suggestions lost their jobs and were forced to do manual labor in the country or were sent to prison just for doing what the government told them to do, give suggestions to the government. Now also to answer this question, we need to know what actually happened in the film. So let's get into it. So, Titao is our main character and the narrator threat the movie. And the movie begins with the wedding between Titao's parents. Of course, Titao was not born yet. They had run into a place that had a landlord, Mrs. Lan. Later, Titao is born. But one of Titao's father's very stupid friends voiced an opinion that was under both of their names. Also, Titao's oldest uncle, Vision, is getting worse and worse, and he worries about his girlfriend. His girlfriend, though, was very close to joining the party, but realized how much of a commitment it is. Later, she leaves the party, and she did get arrested, but I think they're still together. Later, Titao's father has to leave, though. However, the movie doesn't specify exactly why. Titao's mother kept on getting letters from her father, until one day, she got a letter informing her that he was dead. <laughs> Titao's mother has to go to a labor camp to farm China's new motherhood of farming. So, Titao goes to his grandma, and we are also introduced to Li, a family friend who takes care of Titao and Shushan, Titao's mother. Later, Titao's mom comes back. We learn that the idiot friend who voiced the companion was, in fact, Li. Shushan misses her husband, but somehow does not blame Li. We are also see that Li has an illness. The food is public, and there is a shortage of food. The oldest uncle visits his girlfriend in jail, and Shushan gets mad at Lee, then she marries him for some reason. Really confusing. They survive the Great Leap Forward, and when New Year's comes, Lee gets very sick. Then she, he has to go to the hospital, and later he dies. <laughs> So this is the culture revolution. Tito starts to grow up and become more of this and less of this. His mom yells at him often. And by the way, his mom married another man, Tito's stepfather. Tito makes friends with his cousin, Nuni, by flying a kite with her. Tito is also part of the culture revolution by joining a bunch of students to terrorize his principal. His mom doesn't really like this. Tito's father admits that he was a target for the culture revolution and has to leave the family. However, the culture revolution, they find him and beat the stepfather. Tito's mother tries to save him. <laughs> and a fight happens when Tito also tries to save him and join in. <laughs> However, he fails. So guys, it may not look like he did fail, but he did. Here's the clip. <laughs> so his mom was sent to a prison camp and his stepfather died of a sickness. And yeah, that's the sad ending of the movie. So now, since we know all this information, I can finally answer the question presented here. So I'm not only going to be focusing on the main characters, but I'm also going to focus on other characters as well. 
So there are many ways to answer this question, but let's first turn to the clear way. The situation between Tito's father, Lee, and Tito's youngest uncle. So as I said before in the plot, Lee made a suggestion that went over both Tito's father and Tito's youngest uncle's name. I mean, look at the faces they give him. Him. They do this because they know the reality of the situation. They could be punished. Lee does not. But we have to cut Lee some slack, even though I did call him an idiot like a thousand times, because Lee is impacted internally because of this. Because of the 100 Flowers campaign, he thinks the government has become loosened on its grip, therefore conveying him to do this. We also see the same with Shushan, Tito's mother. So guys, let's go a bit later in the film. So we clearly see that Shushan is worried for her husband. Now this, I believe, is mainly due to 100 Flowers campaign yet again. Because I think the sadness Shushan claims her husband has is due to a worry of punishment by the government. Because at this time, many people were getting punished for speaking out. Because Lee wrote that thing that was under his name, it's probably a worry for getting punished. Now, what is more interesting if we continue the clip? Now, what is important in this clip is this. We see that some posters have named him. This, I believe, yet again relates to the suggestion that Lee had made. According to the movie, that is the only thing that he could have been marked for. This suggestion made Tito's father marked on posters. These are the two major ways Shalong is impacted. But it goes bigger. As you know, this happens. Now the question is, why did he leave? Why did he hop on a train and freaking leave? Well, there are two answers for this question, but they all have the same root. The letter that Lee wrote to the government under Shaolun's name. One of the possibilities could be that Shaolun needed to escape because he would be punished in mainland China. Another way is that he did in fact get sent to one of those labor camps and had to actually go someplace far away. I assume many of you guys are thinking that Shaolun did die at the place that he was sent to. However, he did die by a tree. So I don't think that has really much that much of a correlation to be considered to be an impact by the 100 Flowers campaign. Next example. Oh, and this stretch does not only end here. An hour later in the film, Lee is also impacted. Lee feels a sense of guilt. Like I said in the plot, Lee was the person who sent the stupid request to the government, therefore causing Tito's father to go away, as I said before. Lee feels responsible for this in this clip. This is a clear indicator of guilt, and it shows that the 100 Flowers campaign impacted him three years later from when it even occurred. This is a huge impact that Lee faces. So guys, that is definitely the main part of my answers, but I uh, will include examples that are not main characters, but are non-key characters too. Sub-example number one would be Lu Wiyin. Here is the clip. <laughs> so 
So this guy is clearly being punished because of his recommendations. And this death threat, of course, impacts him. I thought he was one of the non-fictional parts of the film. So I tried to look him up, but I got this. A Taiwanese politician and this lady. So, yeah. Sub-example number two would be on this person, this person, and this person. Okay, let's roll the clip. Chen Shu Yan, Jingtang Yo Dui Shahu Jui Buman the Ching Shu, Ta Chang Tang Tai Tong Shu Dang Dong, Fabio Fan Dong Yan Lun, Ta Ha Ta the Tong Ho, Guo Tia Sheng, Li Nai Jian, Cao Dong Bia Ban Tong Shu, Dao Jiao Yu Zhao Ling Dao Ti Yi Jian, Chi Shu, Ta Men Ti Yi Jian Shi Jia, Wang Tu Gai Bian Shahu Jui the Bia Sheng Kao Shi Jidu, Shi Jen. This will basically impact these students' lives just for a simple suggestion. This is a huge impact that will impact, like, yeah, as I said before, the course of their lives. Sub example number three. Li Yugan. This is not the same main character Li, this is a different Li. So for the last time, we will roll the clip. So you see that Yogan commits suicide because of his fear of the consequences that will have due to his quote-unquote betrayal of China. This just shows how extreme the consequences of China were and how people did not want to have these consequences. So guys, that is basically all my answers that I had have. And yeah, this movie is also banned in China. So uh, I hope... This doesn't get banned in China, yeah. Also, many Chinese individuals who are in China don't even know this event even occurred. Uh, this is sort of like a call to action in a way, because this issue of people who are Chinese not knowing a major part of their history in China is really problematic. So, uh, yeah, this has been Jay Justness. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. This has been Jay Justness, and bye.